so guys if you newly bought your sewing machine one way to get it set up is to have an engineer fix it for you it's easy and it will save you a lot of stress how can you get an engineer you can go to a local um to a local tailoring shop around where you live and ask for their contact the contact of their engineers just find a way to get someone who can fix your sewing machine for you they are always around to help you get them and they will show you everything you need to know about you know fixing this rope because it can be a little tricky but if you don't have um, if you don't know anyone I can explain how I did mine so this is an elastic this one has already become really slack but um, you can try to measure like a 30 to 40 inch elastic rope just try it out mm? a 30 to 40 elastic rope like a white elastic and then pass it through this two point here okay once you've done that the next thing you will do is to go down below the compartment of your sewing machine so this is the compartment of your sewing machine underneath where the rope is going to be passed down from the upper part okay now what you what you want to do is then tie the rope like so it has been tied and tied very tightly tight in such a way that it's going to be very hard to loosen as or just um well i'll say losing when you sew let me just trim this off a bit i was scared that it might just cut off tight in such a way that it's not going to be hard to it's not going to be easy to loosen this is pretty tight now when you are passing this rope ensure that it goes under it passes under this groove it comes under this part here let it not go any other way but under this part can you see just underneath this part here and pass it and then you can then tie it this way also ensure that this side this one coming from this other part of um the upper compartment enters this little hole in here please you must follow these instructions to get it right the first hole coming from your left um sorry from this side must pass this hole pass through this hole and then the other rope coming from the other side must come in pass under this part here for you to get it and then you can now tie it very tightly now once you are done the next thing you need to do is ensure that the rope goes through this groove you see this groove right here the rope must pass through it okay just ensure that it is done that way or better still come up towards the machine upwards okay and then draw this rope here towards sorry draw it and let it get past this wheel let it just stay around here note that it must be sorry my camera is a little shaky it must stay in here okay let it just stay in here that's a good place for it to be okay then when you are done come down to the lower compartment sorry i'm filming this myself come down to the lower compartment here 
after you must have tied it right and then try to fix it around the groove you notice a little bit of tension like it's a little tight it's okay if it's too loose it's not good just ensure that it's tight enough so that your machine can easily um, so if it's too loose it's a problem you won't be able to stitch your machine will not be able to move the hand wheel will not be powered to roll so ensure that there's a little bit of tension and that it's pretty firm and tight and then just drag it around the groove so that it stays inside the groove okay it must stay inside the groove this is a little tricky i would say if you can't do this try to get someone to help you i hope this video has helped and then in the next video i'll be showing you how to fix your your motor okay the motor will be used to um, sew with the light an electric motor so rather than use this manually i'll show you how to use the electric motor in the next video